30 random facts. Cog heel. Let's jump into it. I was born with a very rare condition. I'm missing two muscles in my left eye, which means I cannot involuntarily blink it or shut it. I have to manually do it. I can't do it naturally. Three operations. They had no idea how to, to, to correct it. Super rare. The final fix was is right here. They took a piece of muscle out of my leg, put it above my eye. And to this day, someone has that same condition. They pull my file and do the same exact surgery. I was also born without a left kidney. Only one kidney. We thought we were going to have to sell the farm. Our daughter acquired an autoimmune disease about a year and a half ago called autoimmune neutropenia. They first thought it was leukemia, but that came back negative. It was autoimmune neutropenia, and what that is is that's when your own body fights your white blood cells and creates an antibody that eats the white blood cells when they come out of the bone marrow. So, about a year later, it disappeared just as quick as it came on. So she doesn't have it anymore. Or fingers crossed. My dearest friend is the 2007 James Beard Award winning chef Scott Peacock. To Chef Scott Peacock. Our hot chef Scott Peacock is. And contributing editor Scott Peacock, the iconic chef of Southern cuisine. You're welcome. Thanks, Scott. Tell Penny Hay. I will. He is the main person that kind of inspired me and kind of pushed me to start meat chickens, to, to raise pigs, and also to make this YouTube channel. Thank you, Scott. I got to meet and hang out with Roseanne Cash for a day. Ate dinner with her and her husband, John Levithal, because her and Scott are big buddies, and it was it was pretty awesome. And I, I made a video about about it. If y'all haven't seen it, I love to dance. I've been in several dance competitions throughout my life, but the main one that I remember more than anything as I was seven years old it was a breakdancing contest and I won the breakdancing contest and the next youngest person was well beyond twice my age I now take tap and jazz I'm the only person in my family that's not an electrician. I met my wife the summer of 1993 in Gulf Shores, Alabama. I was supposed to be on my senior cruise, and for whatever reasons, I did not go. But, seven years later, we got married. I had three idols growing up. All MJs, all Michaels. Michael Jackson, Michael J. Fox, and Michael Jordan. Open. My seven-year-old daughter is a bird expert. She's obsessed with birds, and she names or knows birds that I have no idea that even existed. Even knows what country they're from. Parosia, rough, decorative bird. Emu, Casseray, Ray, Kiwi, Ostrich. A little over five years ago, we took a family trip to San Francisco. The trip changed my life. The way that I saw local, the local food, the local farmer's market, the restaurants, the, the recycling, all that. I mean, we were already, we already had organic uh, organic garden we have free-range chickens but 
that trip just put me over the top. It was just that the food was just so fresh everywhere you went. When I got back from that trip, I haven't had a soft drink since. I am absolutely addicted to podcast. Not only is my daughter a bird expert, she is an absolute wonderful artist. Everything she sees is a piece of art and it's just amazing to be around. <laughs> She paints and she draws and she writes books every day, all day, 24-7. I love to run. I love running. My knees do not. Be kind to your knees. You miss them when they're gone. I do not like politics. Or mean people. My wife was an absolute stud athlete growing up. All, everything. And to this day, she's still super, super freaking competitive. Who wants to play dodgeball? I hate sleep. Waste so much time sleeping. You spend 26 years of your life sleeping. That is one third, 33% of your life is wasted sleeping. I still have all my music CDs from when I was a teenager, early 20s. I still got them all. Disney World. There's a local artist here that moved to California and she's back named Catherine Mayo. She is doing an art project and an art exhibit that's going to travel several places called the Selma Project. And what Catherine does is, is she's got it looks like the old vintage camera and she does wet plate or glass plate photography. And our daughter, Mary Carl, and her pet chicken, Penny, is one of the subjects in the art exhibit. And we just think it's pretty, just, we think it's pretty cool. Well, you can see it. <laughs> can I pick you up so you can see it? My mom and dad got one of those big old freak camcorders, you know what I'm talking about, with a VCR tape in it when I was a kid. And my early teen, preteen, teen years, as I got older, I used to make short movies and sketch comedies. Lee, if you watch this video and you still got them VCR tapes, call me. We need to talk. I got to meet and hang out a little bit with Joel Salatin. Great guy. Even though I don't like his tractor. Great guy. But there's one thing I can't stand. That Joel Salatin pasture chicken tractor. A little over seven months ago, I realized one thing. I love making YouTube videos. I got tagged in this 30 random facts by um by uh, several channels. Daybird Avery, he was the first one. Natural Living Homestead and the Texas Boys. I really don't know who to call out. I think everybody's done this video. If I think of somebody, I'll put it in the description below. I tell you what, y'all have a wonderful, wonderful day. And if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. And if y'all got any questions or comments, always, as always, comment below. I'll try to, I always reply to, I think, every single body that says something. So we thank y'all. We love y'all. Y'all have a wonderful, wonderful day. We'll catch y'all on the next one. Y'all be good. Cacapon.
hem.